Hi ladies, it's Courtney and Rachel here with your yoga flow workout that you can add to your detox workouts. So Rachel, take it away. Okay ladies, we're gonna start on all fours on the mat and move into cat and cow. With cat, we take a deep breath in. Exhale into cow. Tailbone goes to the sky. Inhale. It's a great massage for the spine. Start rocking back on your heels. Incorporate the right arm. Now we're going to thread the needle by putting our right arm through the hole, shoulder on the ground, face on the ground, left arm to the sky. If you want to go a little bit more deep for an advanced pose, you grab the inner right thigh and twist open for your first twist. Hold for a couple of breaths, arm up, down, back to fours, rock again, try the other side. Left arm swings. Arm through, on the ground, shoulder on the ground. Right arm up to the sky. Move for a deeper twist, inner thigh, open. Arm comes up to get back out, and into all fours again. Now we're going to move into our first downward dog. Tuck the tailbone and toes. Come up. You really want to drive your chest down to the ground and your heels also pushing to the ground while your tailbone and sit bones are shooting up to the sky. Okay, we take your right leg. We're going to do a downward dog split. So right leg swings up. Open the hip by rotating, looking under your right shoulder. Bend the knee. It's a nice hip opener. Hold for a couple of breaths, back to the split, and return to the ground. Left leg up, open, under, you look under your left shoulder, breathe through it, making sure your pressure is all throughout the fingers, and, uh, the palms of your hands, not so much on the fingers for your downward dog. Turn. There we go. And then we take your right foot, step it up in between your hands for a high lunge. Swing your arms up. Now to another twist. Namaste position and twist. Twist, arms up, down. Then you drop the heel of your left foot and then rotate open. Windmill open for warrior two. And we're going to do a peaceful warrior flow. So make sure your tailbone's tucked and down. Palms up for peaceful warrior and you flow back. Exhale into extended side angle, here for beginners. For a deeper stretch for the advanced. Three times. Back to warrior two, windmill down, 
frame your foot, step back into plank, move down through a four limb staff pose, a nice arm balance, you sweep up through to upward facing dog, good back bend, and then down to downward dog. Left leg steps through to repeat on the other side. High lunge. Hands at heart center and twist. This is really activating your inner organs, your spine, blood flows pumping. Really helps with your detox. Come out, hands up, down to frame the foot. We drop the right, the heel of the right foot, and then swing open again to warrior two for your peaceful warrior flow. Comes face up. Here for a beginner. Warrior two, frame the foot. Again, down through plank, four limb staff pose. Sweep up, downward dog, I mean upward facing dog, and then into downward facing dog. Now we're gonna step or hop up into standing forward fold. So step or you can hop. Now we're gonna hang out here for a second, just get a breath. You can ragdoll if you want, just hang out. Soft knees if you'd like. Breathe through it. And then come to the ground for a seated twist. Two variations of this. Straight leg, twist like this, or we can do the bent leg, twist deeper, and when you hold this for three breaths, each breath you should be getting a deeper twist on your exhalation, and you twist from the spine and the abdomen, you don't twist from your neck, so. The other side. <clears throat> you can hug it also if you can't get your elbow around. You always want your shoulders back. Bridge pose. So you want to tuck your heels in right by your bum, hands to the ground, lift up. You want to be pinching your legs in. You don't want your knees splaying out. Keep everything tight in here, like your quads are just on this way. All right, and we go up for a bend. If you're here, that's good. If you want to go a little bit deeper, make sure your shoulders get pinched under. Get binded if you'd like for a deeper bend. Don't want the chest or the chin on your chest, so be careful of that. Hold for a couple of breaths. Careful when you come out. And then hug it in. So counter pose, a little ball here. Stretch out. Do one final twist. Keep your left shoulder on the ground. Use your left knee, bend your left knee. Right hand pulls across the body. 
You look left, always with that left shoulder on the ground. So just as far as you can go. This is a restorative twist because you're on your back. The other side, right arm out, right leg over, across the body. Look over your right shoulder. And then we can end with a minute in Savasana or a restorative pose if you'd like. And that's it ladies, I hope you enjoy it and enjoy the great effects that the yoga has for your detox.